Man, dude, that party was awesome tonight. Dude, that girl you were with was a oh my total God. bay, man. That was awesome. What I would have done to get to get with her. <laughs> well, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch ah! out, watch out, watch ah! out! became too strong and overtook his entire system. But we need to know who he has come in contact with. They could be in serious danger. Um, not that I know of. He was coming home from college. He wasn't sick when he left. I mean, he was coming home tonight. I. You didn't come in contact with him, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. Why? It is infecting two areas of the body. The pathogen is easily penetrating the normal microbiota, thus being able to colonize and upset the balance between the normal microbiota and the microbes. It eventually gets into the lungs, but what stumps me is how it enters the bloodstream first. It seems that the host microbe is entering through the blood or lymphatic vessel, which then distributes the host to other parts of the body where it can find specifically to the lung areas, incubating in roughly six hours. There's a much larger presence of bacteria in this case than usual. So what do you mean? If someone touches you, or someone that has it breathes on you, you're dead within 24 hours. What do we got here? It looks as if it's Yersinia pestis. Symptoms include 
vomiting, chills, fever, and other flu-like symptoms. However, in every case, there's been yellowing of the skin and coughing up of blood. So we're talking about like... And. And. Well, several others sh died suddenly, but showed no symptoms at all. However, autopsies revealed that they had the disease as well. This no one can explain. It's in the bloodstream. What? We're dealing with two of the most deadly plagues in the world. Parasites, like fleas. That's the easiest way the disease spreads. They latch onto dogs, cats, rats, and other rodents. Hey! Ah! Ah! Hey! 